Hi everybody! Those of you who have played around with uh, making lures in resin uh, using silicone molds know there is a bit of a drawback to that solution. Over time the, the silicone will react with the resin and uh, the surface of the mold will be deteriorating, uh, leaving it uh, more and more sticky to the resin and eventually you won't be able to get out your, uh, your lures without uh, ruining the mold. In this little video log, I'll see if there might be a solution to get back in business quickly with a new mold. Those of you who make more than just a few lures know that after a while the mold is, uh, is ruined by the resin. Uh, I just um, made this new mold for my, my uh, new pen seal and I would like to see if there's a solution if there is a solution for me to, to quickly get back in business once the, the mold is ruined. To do this, I will make a cast of the mold and see if I'm uh, able to produce another mold of that. So, here I have the completely new mold. It hasn't been used before, so I'm pretty sure that it is in more or less uh, per perfect uh, shape. And uh, to do the cast, I'll just use uh, the same product as I use for the lures. Uh, fast caster resin from Easy Composites, uh, and um, I'll also be using uh, this uh, filler powder. Uh, normally, I, I mix it with the glass bottles, but in this case, I, I would want something that has some other properties to it. Mixing the the, the resin with the filler powder has uh, two advantages. First of all, it um, it reduces the shrinkage of the the resin. Resin doesn't shrink that much, but still a little bit, and uh, by using filler powder you will reduce that. And another part is you don't have to use as much resin uh, uh, when you're using uh, filler powder, uh, as that would um, also be a cost-efficient um, thing. Okay, so I have my mold here, and um, that I would like to make a cast of. So what I'll do now is I'll, um, I'll grab my Legos and, um, and create the same frame I made when I made the, lure, uh, the, the mold in the first place. And then I'll uh, grease it up with some Vaseline and uh, mix up some resin and make a cast of it. Well, let's, uh, let's get going and see how it works out. Before you start, you should uh, always uh, Make sure that there are no uh, small imperfections in the mold uh, that you want to, to fix uh, before you, you make the cast of it. Uh, there might be some uh, small parts that you need to pull off or correct with a knife. Um, otherwise they will turn up in every mold you make from this and there's no need for that if they can be fixed. I've just done that and removed all the, the smaller parts here and um, now these two parts are ready to uh, to get a frame, and then it's just uh, about getting on with the the building here. I've now built the two uh, frames around the, the two pieces of, of the mold, and I'll now brush it over with uh, with some Vaseline, not as much to, to ensure that it doesn't stick, but mostly because the uh, uh, th there might be small cracks uh, uh, along the sides of the mold that will uh, that will be able to leak some of the the, the resin as uh, as that is uh, fairly thin. So I'll just uh, brush over the the edges with some uh, Vaseline uh, before I, I cast the the mold. You should um, remember not to use more uh, Vaseline uh, than than needed as as. Uh, the Vaseline will also take up space in the mold and uh, therefore uh, you might be able to, uh, to uh, change the, the, some parts of the mold by just adding uh, the Vaseline. So only uh, where, where it's needed. Well, as always, when I work with these uh, things, I'll put on my mask and some gloves. Uh, but the process isn't much uh, different than when you are making um, resin lures. So uh, I'll just uh, leave in a few clips and then you can see the result afterwards. So
a half an hour has passed and um, the resin is uh, completely hardened so I'll just see if I can um, can get this out actually it seems that not too much have been spilled so I'll just remove the the mold here like that one part of the mold looking fine no bubbles or anything a little bit of uh, leakage here on the other one but um, nothing that can be handled so I'll just pull that off as well like that okay well looks uh, quite fine I'll just okay now I have a, a two uh, two masters here for for the mold um, and I should be able to uh, expand the, the Lego here and uh, just uh, wipe it over with uh, some Vaseline and then uh, cast uh, two new uh, mold halves. So I'll try to do that and then, um, then we'll, we'll see. Well, uh, once again, I'll just uh, run it over with a bit of Vaseline to make sure that um, it, it, it doesn't stick but uh, it shouldn't be that bad but anyway I'll just uh, give it a, a, a quick run over um, at least on the parts that are not that uh, important uh, meaning the the mold parts itself uh, where mold to uh, meet molds um, the lure part I will try to 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 have as 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 little Vaseline on as possible but still having a a thin coat um, but the other parts they can have a, a bit uh, as I'm not that dependent on uh, on those being exactly um, alike so I'll just run this over and then in the end with a nearly uh, dry brush run over the, the, the lures itself so I'll just See here. about a, a day has passed and uh, the two parts of the mold are now fully hardened so I'll, uh, I'll take off all the, the Legos here to see how the result is um, as you can see there's a little bit of leakage around the edges of the mold but uh, but not that bad on both of them but uh, I think uh, that won't be a problem so I'll just see if I can unrip this okay there's a bit of edges that should be broken off but um, let's see how it looks well. and um, I think we can compare it with the with the other one. 
more or less an exact uh, replica of that. Um, don't really see any differences. Well, I'll just get on with the other one. And um, we'll see if the two molds uh, fit together. And um, that uh, would of course be part one. Silicone here that needs to be removed. Let's just um, okay. Well, and the exciting part will the two molds fit together? Well, it. Uh, See, there's a few edges that um, prevent it from just uh, sliding together here, but uh, all in all, it, it, it seems like the, the mold is, uh, is fitting. So now I'll just, um, I'll just clean up the mold here uh, completely um, to make sure that um, all these uh, small parts doesn't prevent me from getting a, a good result and then afterwards um, we'll make a test this is the the original mold and uh, this one is the copy and i'll now try to to make a cast at the same time in uh, both uh, molds uh, using the same uh, um, mix of uh, resin and uh, i have made some internal parts and in short that uh, they weigh exactly the same so I can afterwards uh, see if there's any difference between the, the original mold and the copy mold. So I'll just uh, use a bit of Vaseline to make sure that uh, nothing sticks here and um, then uh, we will uh, cast some lures. Okay, and to make sure that uh, the same amount of pressure is applied to, to, uh, to both molds, I will just uh, assemble them together here. So I'll be quite sure that the same amount of pressure is applied to both. Um, like that. And... Um, I need a little more of it. Okay, so now the mold is ready, and I'll just um, mix up some uh, some resin here. I have a fairly good idea on how, how much I need, uh, but um, I'll make a little extra for this time, as uh, to be certain. So I'll just mix that up and I use 5% uh, glass bubbles for my um, my lure here and I'll put on my mask and um, well we'll get back in the short while. fully hardened so um, let's see the result okay and the slim one here is um, the original one looking quite fine see there's a bit of overflow here 
Well, that was that one. And the other one. Well, I must say that um, no visual uh, difference between the two. Um, seems just about the same. So I'll just uh, I'll just to break off all the the minor parts here and hope that that will give me the best comparison. Uh, All is the same now. Let's uh, test the weight. And um, weight in uh, the original ones, uh, 35.6 grams. And uh, the copy ones, 35.7. That could uh, just as well be on behalf of some of the there's more parts here that has not been broken off yet. Well, I think uh, that the result uh, is that uh, these are, are so close to each other that uh, the fish won't notice. Uh, might be a slight difference in thickness, but uh, visually there's uh, no difference at all. And I'm sure that uh, the, the difference there could be uh, won't, uh, won't matter. So, um, well, for me it's a success. Uh, next time uh, I need a new mold, I'll just uh, cast one instead of uh, start all the way with the, the modeling clay and everything. So now it's just a question of uh, casting some more, painting them and uh, well, go fishing. Thanks for watching and I hope you see me soon.